You know, ladies and gentlemen, there's some people that will never learn. They'll never learn. They'll never learn. This right here. They'll never learn. They'll never learn. I mean, you want to talk about my action figures? You want to talk about I play with action figures? I collect them. I don't play with them. They are a part. Let me educate this fool right here, right now. And by action figures, he means... I'm not even going to give him the time of day. Because what he needs to understand is... If you look real closely, they're a part of a video game! Okay? Okay? They're a part of a video game. Riku? Sora? Kingdom Hearts? And what, what is, what kind of, what, you haven't heard of Mountain Dew before? You haven't heard of Mountain Dew yet? Oh my God, these cowboy fit. Play the, play the, start the show, start the show. Right, ah! Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? All right, let's just get it out of the way. Cause I, I, mm, this guy, this guy. Cowboy fans drive me back to the point where I gotta. Ugh. And you know he just don't get it. This guy do not get it. Okay. Get it together, Mayor. Get it together. He's. He's. Mmm. I hate cowboy fans. Okay. When I said, sit down, be humble, that meant when we beat you this season, when I get my $100, when we become 15 and one, when we go to Miami and become two time reigning, defending, undisputed NFL Super Bowl champs of the goddamn mother trucker world, Sit down, shut your mouth, don't say nothing to us, and be humble. Bow down. Grace us with your presence and give us stuff. Sit down, be humble. Sit down, be quiet. Don't say nothing when we're the champs again. And be humble. You bow down at the champs. You kiss the ring. And you clearly say, Eagles, you're better than us. You're better than us. You're the new dynasty. We should focus on you. Not any of these other teams. That's what I meant when I said sit down and be humble. When we go back to the Super Bowl and win it, keep your mouth shut. And bow down. And yeah, I'm cocky. You damn right I'm cocky. And here's why I'm cocky. This why. This one. Super Bowl champions. That, you little redneck, is why I'm cocky. That's why I'm cocky, yellow redneck. I'm cocky 
because I believe my team is going to give me another hat, another shirt, another hoodie, another coat, another billboard, and another DVD. That, you little rodent, is why I'm cocky. I'm confident and cocky that my team is going to go to Miami and become two-time Super Bowl champs of the goddamn world and get me another Lombardi. And if we so cocky, what that makes y'all? Huh? You, huh, boys for life, you little Texas redneck? If we're so cocky, what that makes y'all? We got five Super Bowls. Doc Prescott is better than Wentz. Doc got all the stats. Cause the Wentz can't... And y'all say we cocky, so are y'all. Y'all cocky. So yes, sit down and be humble when the Eagles beat you this season. When the Eagles beat the Dallas Cowboys and we go to the Super Bowl and win our second trophy, Bow. Sit down. Zip your lips. Be quiet. And bow. Look at guys like me and Eagle fans in the eye say, Eagle fans, you're the best thing going today. Cowboy fans, y'all suck. You guys haven't won a Super Bowl in 25 years. And y'all want to come out here and say that Eagle fans are cocky. <sighs> Boys for life, I tell you. Zach Moore's cell phones was popular. Vanilla Ice is trying to get rid of it. I was four years old watching Barney and Friends. Tom Brady wasn't on the field. Dak Prescott wasn't even on the field. The draft class we're going to have next season wasn't even born. Six times from 1996 to now, you went to the divisional playoff game, you won nothing. You want to talk about cocky? Watch this. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I just, it just, <laughs> it's just, it's just awesome. It's just awesome to be a Cowboy fan. It's awesome to be from Texas. It's just, it's, I love it. He's glad to be a loser. He's glad to be in a place where the Houston Texans are the most popular. He's glad to be a Cowboys fan. A team and a fan base that haven't won a championship in 25 years. He's glad that the last time they won a Super Bowl, Zach Moore's cell phone was cool. Four years old watching Barney and Friends. Vanilla Ice trying to be relevant. Tom Brady wasn't even on the field, and the draft class we got, we're going to have next year wasn't even born. You're happy. Y'all happy to be Cowboy fans. Y'all happy that Dak Prescott will never take y'all to the Super Bowl. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. 
that Tom Brady and the New England Patriots has surpassed you guys with six. You're happy. This guy's happy. This little Texas redneck is happy. You're happy. He's happy, Lord. He's happy to be a loser, and it's the, and 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 also. <clears throat> I watched the video. There was one thing that made me laugh. One thing. Watch this. And I'm finally gonna say, the Eagles want to be the Dallas Cowboys. What? I'm gonna say, the Eagles want to be the Dallas Cowboys. Once again, what? I've realized this for a minute, and I'm finally going to say, the Eagles want to be the Dallas Cowboys. That's it. The Eagles want to be the Dallas Cowboys. They want the jewelry that we have. They're come, they're, all they do, they, all they do is talk about us. That is it. All they do is talk about the Cowboys and how they're irrelevant and how this and how, you know, we got this, they don't have this. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my God, this Cowboy fan, these Cowboy fans, oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> we want to be cowboy fans. We want to be the cowboys. <laughs> this Texas trailer park trash redneck actually thinks that us Eagle fans want to be Cowboys. Want to be Cowboys fans. <laughs> he actually thinks, he actually thinks that we want to support a team that hasn't won a Super Bowl since 1995. He actually thinks that. He actually thinks that this Texas trailer park trash redneck actually thinks Zach Moore's cell phone's to call. Four years old watching Barney and Friends. This guy actually thinks that we want to be Cowboys fans. You want to be the Cowboys? I'm going to end this video like this because two years ago, 2016, a guy named Colin, Col Colin, you'll, you'll see who I'm talking about in a minute because I can't pronounce his name, whatever his name is. Yeah, from the herd. He basically described cowboy fans and cowboys. Cause I got nothing. I, I, fly goes fly. Thanks for watching. I, play the clip. Play the clip. Since Dallas's last Super Bowl, Super Bowl 30, 1995. So think about this. In the last 20 years, the Dallas Cowboys have had six head coaches, 20 quarterbacks start a game, have missed the playoff 12 times, and of their playoff games, they're 3-8. and eight. Now think about this. 
in the last 20 years, 13 different teams have made the NFC Championship game. Dallas is one of the three that hasn't. One of the other ones is Detroit. So if you take out, like, Cleveland and maybe Al Davis's Raiders for about a 10-year stretch, I mean, Dallas is in that group the last 20 years of, like, Miami and, you know, Chicago, and they're totally dysfunctional. They've had 20 quarterbacks start a game in 20 years. That's a disaster. They've had six head coaches. That's a disaster. So a few years ago when the Cowboy fans were like, we got to get rid of Jason Garrett. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to become Cleveland? You want to become Cleveland? I mean, Dallas is lucky. They, fa they played the last five years. They're lucky they've been in the NFC East. What if they were in the AFC North? What if they were in the NFC West? What if they were in the NFC South and they had to face those defenses in the NFC West or those quarterbacks in the NFC South? I mean, they're damn lucky. Even this year, Romo gets hurt and he'll come back for Cleveland. I mean, there couldn't be a team with a worse roster you could come back for. So, Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready?